when you make decisions, first you have to figure out what things you might even consider making decisions about, what all your options are, you expand your field of view as much as you can, and then you make judgment calls where you contract that field of view and you whittle it down to what is most important, that's how you frame your decision and you move on. But you might have noticed that a lot of the decision textbooks tend to work with decisions that you are forced into, that the universe has pushed you into. Uh, you have to invest some money as a business leader, this is your budget, you have to put it somewhere that's already framed for you, or you're reacting in some way to um, some kind of fluctuation in the universe. Uh, now that we've had a pandemic, um, how are we going to change our course? So that whittling is done for you. The much harder thing is to realize that there is so much opportunity in the universe. There are so many paths that you could take, you couldn't even list them all. And there are many more than just the ones that seem obvious. A lot of those decision frameworks only focus on the super obvious ones. But if you're going to really master the art of decision making, you're going to want to think about a much broader set of decisions and opportunities not just the reactive and obvious ones. And for that, you end up being forced into a higher level of subjectivity. This is really about asking yourself what is important to you when you do that whittling, rather than saying, I've got some kind of fire that someone else lit under me and I have to react to that. 